NASA says it's not a ball maker or a ball tester, but puts the official World Cup ball through its fluid mechanics laboratory for a fun lesson in aerodynamics. It would also be fun putting a man on the moon again. Could we maybe have some fun with that? I'm Jed Markham on Buzz60. During the last World Cup, Adidas's Jabulani ball moved so unpredictably, players disparagingly compared it to a beach ball. According to NASA, that's because of knuckling, or erratic airflow over the ball's seams when the ball is kicked with no spin. So for 2014, Adidas worked with players to develop the new Brazuca ball, which has fewer panels, longer, deeper seams, and a rougher surface to make the ball's flight more stable. To test it out, NASA put the ball in a wind tunnel with laser-lit smoke streams to see how different speeds change the airflow around the ball. Engineers found the Brazuca ball will only knuckle at around 30 miles per hour, the same as a traditional 32-panel ball, and shouldn't affect typical World Cup players who kick the ball at 55 miles per hour. Considering the smoother Jabulani ball knuckled at around 50 miles per hour, NASA engineers conclude World Cup players should be happier with the new ball. So now if you, say, kick it into your own goal, can't blame the ball. Buzz 60. Now you know, pass it on.